This is Andorra la Vella, nested high in the Pyrenees at the border of France and Spain. Just outside town, the Valle of La Massana is magnificent. I am visiting Borda Raubert, a traditional Andorran restaurant. Dolores Pal, the owner chef, serves traditional dishes. A rustic pork charcuterie finds its way in many preparations. Her escudella soup made with vegetables, chicken, sausages, black pudding, chickpeas and pasta is a family favorite. The most classic specialty is trinchat. Ça c'est des pommes de terre avec des choux avec un peu de huile d'olive et de lime. It is served with pieces of bacon and black pudding. Mm. The slow roasting lamb shoulders seasoned with local herbs and Mediterranean vegetables are so appetizing. In the dining room, the wood-fired grill creates warm feelings. Pyrenee lamb cutlets and fresh sausages are popular. I taste the roast lamb. It is so well cooked with wonderful flavors. My dessert is crema andorana, a smooth and refreshing vanilla custard. A glass of homemade walnut liqueur makes me feel like an Andorran prince. I return to reality by walking along the stream, hoping to catch a trout with my eyes. This baked trout dish with herbs and bacon is a traditional classic of the region. I dry a freshly caught trout with kitchen pepper and place it on baking paper in a tray. Then I mix a little lemon thyme with salt, pepper, an extra virgin olive oil, and I brush the trout outside and inside with the seasoning. Next, I fill the inside with three slices of lemon, two bay leaves, and three whole cloves of garlic, and bake the trout in a medium oven for about 30 minutes, and baste the fish with olive oil a few times. The key is to keep the fish moist and the oven must not be too hot. During the cooking, I finely dice an apple and place it in a bowl with the juice of half a lemon, three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of chopped walnuts and a little salt and pepper. I then cook two dice rashers of bacon in a pan. Once the fish is cooked, I transfer it onto a large platter and spread the walnut and apple dressing on top and I scatter the bacon pieces over the top. This treat roti aux herbes et lardons is a very special treat. My Andorran adventure continues in a four-wheel drive to reach Borda Sabate 1944, a vineyard owned by John Albert Fare Santore. Tous nos vins, qui sont des vins uh, organiques, et aussi on travaille avec la biodynamie. The modern winery is very impressive, and I understand why his Rieslings have such a good reputation. It's really a magnificent Riesling. Tomorrow, I discover a supermarket in the small town of Revel, north of the Pyrenees.